Hello everyone, I'm Vice91 and welcome back for more Let's Play Tales of Zisteria. Last time we enlisted the help of Father Brunor, and we also got a ran into a water seraph who was apparently a hellion turned into a giant water spout and drag uh, some something, I don't know. Water monster. And uh, we turned him back to normal and then convinced him to be the Lord of the Land for Lady Lake. And that's where we are now. We're heading back to Lady Lake. Because we have to have Father Brunor bless the holy water that we got from... Oh, what was that place called? Whatever place we went a couple episodes ago. It was down in that kind of like underground cave kind of place. I don't know. I can't remember the name of the place. But anyway, I guess we're heading back to the sanctuary to go see Father Brunor. I'm assuming. I guess I could have looked at the map before I went anywhere. But that's where we're going. I hope I'm right. Okay, good. Alright. So let's talk to Father Brunor here. Oh, there's a save point up there that I haven't activated yet. Just, just for the sake of doing so. Oh, we have a skit. The Lady of the Lake. We might have missed this from a while ago, so let me go ahead and do this. Hey, isn't the Sacred Blade Festival also a religious celebration dedicated to the Lady of the Lake? Were you worshipped, Lila? The Lady of the Lake is a traditional myth of the people of Lady Lake, hence the name. Yes, who cleanses our sins with the Sacred Blade? Who walks with the mist over the lake? Who vanquishes evil with flames of black? Who sings in the moonlight and comforts the lost souls in the dead of night? The Lady of the Lake goes the story. Whoa, Lila! You can walk on water? Hardly. I weigh at least more than that. Huh. That thing Alicia recited sounded like it might be several myths combined into one. I would imagine so. The legend was already present when I first arrived in the city. So wait, does that mean the Lady of the Lake was a different Seraph? Yes, but she was absent, so I accepted the Sacred Blade as my vessel. So as to wait for the Shepherd, right? As you saw at the ruins in the waterway, Lady Lake has a long history of involvement with the Shepherd. Weren't you lonely all by yourself this whole time? Not especially. When I got that way, I would distract myself by singing or listening to people's problems. That's just like the legend. Huh. I would bet that humans with high resonance were able to sense that. And blended those tales with the earlier myths to form the current legend. We're seeing history get passed down before our very eyes. Well... All right then, let's talk to Father Brunor. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. It needs to be water, I guess. Oh, truly, this power is the stuff of miracles. Hmm. It looks like he really can't sense us at all. I shall worship this sacred water with all my being. Oh, venerable Uno, I am yet inexperienced, but would that I could serve thee for all eternity. <laughs> but he is earnest. I'll at least give him that. What was that? I feel like a sort of wind just blew right through me. The blessing has returned to this town. This town is now under my domain. But in order to maintain the blessing, I will need cooperation from the people. Indeed, there are all kinds of methods besides prayer that one can use to uphold the blessing. Like? For example... I see. I'll be sure to give it a try. This sure sounds like a pain to me. What is it? I will do what little I can. Hmm? What's wrong? I can still feel a powerful malevolence. And it's not far off. It's somewhere in town. That's the royal palace. So hmm. this is a conversation with the Seraphim? A bunch of lunatics talking to themselves out loud? Oh, it's that guy. 
You are? It's about time you showed your face. Are you serving our papers? What are you doing? I am a messenger from Chancellor Bartlow of the Highland government. Mm -hmm. I have come to invite Saray to a private dinner conference in light of his great suffering for the sake of Lady Lake. Have you been watching over Saray? Not at all. In fact, I was quite surprised. That the Princess of Highland, as distant as her claim to the throne may be, would have relations with the Shepherd that are so... Intimate. Mind I'm your own sure business. this news will please your beloved subjects to no end, your highness. If you are insinuating that... Alicia! Where to? Roundable Palace. Very well. Tell Bartlow I accept his proposal. I don't like that guy. Please. You mustn't get involved with the Chancellors. I can feel it from them. The malevolence does seem to be coming from them. I apologize for being so weak. Don't worry, it's true. We really do want to see what's going on at the palace. It'll be our first time. You'll have to be our guide. Just as you have been to me. Blessing for Lady Lake Region has been restored. Awesome. Lords of the Land, it is now possible to access the Lord of the Land menu from save points in areas where the Lord of the Land has been unlocked. Finding battles in those areas will raise the blessing level dependent on the grade you receive. Grade will automatically count toward the blessing level when you touch a save point. Uh... Okay. As the blessing level goes up, you will gain access to boons with various effects. Okay, so basically you want to fight a bunch of battles where you have... A Lord of the Land in the area? And then go to a save point? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I guess we're learning a little bit more about it. Okay, save point travel. Ah, oh, I like the sound of that. Spend gall to move between save points you have previously visited. That makes sense now that the save points have two different, you know, uh, appearances. Uh, the purple orb for when you haven't uh, used them or accessed them yet. And then the multicolor for after you've used them so that makes sense now okay so set boons enable various boons boons available depend on blessing level item offerings offer up items for grade oh oh wait is that our, we're offering our items in turn in return for a grade i guess so okay so we've accumulated a total of 68.78 grade in this area i guess we're at blessing level two uh Let's see, set boons, offer items. Yeah, let me see what this is about. Oh, man. So we can, wow, seriously? That seems like a lot of grade to offer or to get in return for just some apple gels and stuff like that. Man, I may really consider some of that stuff. Goodness. Hmm. This is interesting. This is an interesting little wrinkle. Uh, we haven't really used many apple gels yet, and we have a few to spare, so I'm going to go ahead and exchange that and get some extra grade. I mean, why not? Uh, let's see what boons we have here. Boons. You can enable boons to take effect within the Lord of the Lands domain, so long as you don't exceed the maximum boon cost total. Boons largely have battle-related effects. Raising the blessing level will both add new boons and increase the maximum boon cost total. You can raise the blessing level by earning grade in battle. Traveler's Repose, Treasure Restoration. Okay, in an area where this boon has been activated, you can spend gold to move between save points you've already reached. Okay, well, yeah, it's free, so we might as well do that in case we need to do that. Uh, leave treasure chests for some time after claiming the treasure inside, and they will automatically refill with new items. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Okay. That may confuse me later for, like, uh, completion purposes. If I'm going around a certain area and I see a closed treasure chest, but I've already been to that area, I might think that it's a new area or something. I don't know. It could mess with my head a little bit. Uh, okay, so there's five more boons, but I don't have a sufficient blessing level. Uh, so we'll have to revisit that later. Let's check a look and see. Oh, well, we can't travel between save points now. I was hoping to get, like, a cost of 
Oh, it does give me a price. Okay, so say if I wanted to go back to Elysia, which is probably the furthest place from where we are. Uh, it costs 144 gold. I would assume the cost is proportional to the distance you have to travel, so that's probably the furthest we have to go. Uh, that's a pretty close one. Oh no, well that's 144 gold too, so maybe they're all the same, within the same region. Okay. Alright, well that's cool. So I guess... Oh, I missed what all that said, but I guess... Okay, so if we come back here and talk to Uno, we can access that same menu. Let's talk to him here. Hi there, Shepard. I trust your journey is going well. I'm happy to report that Brunor comes by here quite often. Well, good. Even though, like, we haven't left yet. <laughs> Fear not. I will never waver in my care and worship for the holy water. I am more concerned for your well-being, gentle Shepard. Please be careful when you visit the palace. Chancellor Bartlow is known to be all too skilled at the ruthless games played by the political class. Hmm. Yeah, I, di I didn't like the sight of uh, Chancellor Bartlow when I first saw him. Uh, so we'll get to see him up close and personal, I guess. Hello, Father. Let me apologize for my son causing mischief. I gave him a right good scolding, you can be sure of that. We're all square, right? Hopefully. Okay, so we have to go to Roundtable Palace. Which I'm guessing is in the... Well, let me get outside first. I'm guessing it's in the... Oh, what is it? The upper class place? The whatever... Nobles District! <laughs> yeah, that's what I was trying to think of. Okay, so I guess... Uh, I guess we'll go straight there. I mean, we might as well, right? I don't think we have really have anything else to do. So, I'm just assuming it's this direction. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Do I want to talk to these guys again? Oh yeah, let's talk to one of them. The Archbishop has made no official response. I think he's just hoping it all blows over. After all, she's technically a princess. He's not in a position to do anything too rash. Well. Okay, uh... Oh, what's this person? I've heard there's lots of workers around who can't afford to pay their rent. An economic, an economic downturn hits everyone hard, but I hate to see a person out on the streets. Yeah, it's never a good sight, really. Oh, wait, is that a dungeon icon? And it's like... <laughs> okay, let's check it out, I guess. Hey, What's we're invited. About? Forgive me, Lady Alicia. Hmm. Lord Bartlow's orders were to allow Shepard Saray through. We didn't know he'd have a companion. <laughs> Screw y'all. His Eminence Lord Bartlow is with a visitor at the moment. Please accompany me to the waiting room. This way. Oh wow, check this place out. Okay. I cannot believe this. Where can we go? I guess we can pass through here. Uh, oh, well. I tried to pull up the map. That's why that icon came up. I guess it didn't let me. I guess I have to follow this guy. You walk so slow. Can't you walk any faster? Whee! It's kind of a extravagant place. They don't really make too much efficient use of the space they have. These are pretty grand hallways. Is this it right here? Let me through. Okay. Please go on ahead to the guest waiting room. Okay. Well, I'm going to go down this hallway just because I'm a rebel. I want to see what else is down here. Can I get through here? I think we'd better do as we're told for now. We cause a scene and it'll mean just more blowback for Alicia. Yeah, you're right. Okay. I guess they're right. All right. Let's go inside and wait. Please wait here for the time being. Is there stuff in here? Oh, I guess I need to talk to everybody. 
Kill time so you can meet with the minister. Okay. People involved in politics quickly become tainted. If only everyone could be as pure-hearted as Alicia. Yeah, Alicia's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm just kind of looking around. What's that? Oh yeah. Can I check it out? Oh, found a new discovery point. Roundable palace bookshelves. <laughs> okay. Hey, we got a skit. The palace library. Let's check it out. Whoa! There's like infinite books. Just what you'd expect from a royal palace. Quite a collection of rare and valuable tomes. Lots that deal with history and ancient relics, too. Oh, I just want to sit and read them all. Oh, my. This book has an interesting title. Mad Screams of Love. A poetry book, maybe? Let's check it out. Yeah, careful. It's going to look like the book's floating in midair. <laughs> Don't worry. Alicia will hand wave it away for us somehow. Oh, for... Uh, here, gimme. I'll hold it. Wow. Mad is right. An ode to young passions, a lonely voice, screaming love and anguish to the heavens. You just know the author's gonna look back at this ten years later and cringe. Angsty doesn't even begin to cover it. So that's what's so mad about it. Really? It all sounds pretty good to me. Huh? huh? Saray, I think that's because you're so... So inherently enthusiastic. You guys okay? <laughs> you look kind of... Uh, mad. Oh goodness, alright, well, <laughs> we better relax while we still can. Things smell like they're going to get ugly. Now, at least they've got some nice books here. Yeah, Saray sure got excited there. I mean, um, I mean, you saw his house, right? He had books all over his floor. It was ridiculous. Oh, we can access the Lord of the Land menu from a save point, too. That's actually really nice. Makes sense, though, if you have save point travel. The Chancellor surrounding the young the young king do not care for me much. They think my low standing in the line of succession should keep me out of political affairs. Forgive me, I didn't mean to push this on you. Oh, don't sweat it. Is that book floating? Uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. Lord Bartlow is ready for you. To the round table chamber, if you please. Please wait here, Princess. Why? We were told that you were to receive different orders. About Marland? Yes. Please stay here. Fine. Alicia? It's about a yet unfinished job. Sorry, but I'm staying behind after all. This way. I shall guide you to the round table chamber. Well, that sucks. Okay, really? Did they leave her behind on purpose? Uh, it seems that way. Did. The malevolence isn't gone yet. Yeah, they have some reason for not wanting her to be there. Hurry up. Why must I wait for you? Hey. Woo, getting dizzy. Just getting real good and dizzy. I don't even know why I'm doing that. Seriously, that is making me dizzy. Uh, I guess I'll just try to walk alongside you or behind you. Saray's just so awkward when he tries to walk. Look at that. Who walks like that? You look nervous. Let me in. All right, showtime. That wasn't even the guy. Okay, anyway. Chancellor Bartlow is expecting you. Please make your way through the doors into the hall. Okay. Let's go. I have no idea what's going to happen, but... I don't really like the sound of it. Especially that purple coat guy. I really don't like him. Sorry to have kept you waiting, gentle shepherd. Please, take a seat. A lot of food. Looks good. Poison pot pie. Don't worry. I promise you, it's not poisoned. 
Yeah, actually, we I kind of thought We simply felt it would too. be best to be closer to you. Let me introduce you. This is Military Chancellor Mathia, leader of the Royal Army. This is Professor Simon, administrator of the law in Highland. And this is Archbishop Nathael, the highest ranking holy man in the kingdom. And last, the man who manifests the will of the king himself. Bartho. I'm Saray. Thank you very much for your invitation. We have much to discuss. Whoa, Saray, I hope you don't trust them. He does indeed have spunk. That, or perhaps he's just that much of a simpleton. It's quite delicious, though I would have liked to let Alicia taste it as well. What is your relation with Lady Alicia, if I may ask? We're just friends. She invited me to come to the outside world with her. How about we drop this silly game and have you tell us the real story, hmm? Hmm? They're suggesting that you and Alicia are using each other, hatching some sort of nefarious plot together. I'm not using Alicia. The Shepherd does not do such things. Oh, he doesn't. I couldn't say. I've never actually seen a Shepherd before. So they doubt you. I figured as much. Believe me or don't, I don't care. Well, we do care. It would be quite the scandal if the royal family had produced a false Shepherd to curry favor with the populace. <gasps> Careful. And so you're asking for proof? That I'm the real shepherd? <laughs> Truth be told, it matters not whether you're real or just a boy in a silly outfit. The issue is that regardless, the citizens are beginning to side with you. It's the nature of the people to yearn for some dramatic sort of salvation. An easy way to have their every desire fulfilled. True, the shepherd in every era has always suffered greatly from the people's grandiose expectations. The common man is but a fool and a cur. It's an unfortunate observation, but that is the reality of it. But, in fact, it is for that very reason that we need you. Me? Why me? I will be perfectly frank with you. We are asking you to work under us, Shepherd Saray. No way. As the shepherd who would protect Highland, we want you to reinvigorate the people, boost their morale. The rampant disasters have rather dampened the people's spirits lately. It's very unfortunate for the council. Those ignorant fools, right when we're on the brink of war with Rollins. We will reward you handsomely, of course. Hmm. This is your advance. If you're really all the rumors say, I hear that you're quite interested in ancient ruins, yes? Were you to side with us, surely this would be sufficient to facilitate your explorations and archival activities, would it not? <laughs> There's no point in siding with Princess Alicia. The princess is to be transferred to the city of Marland, where the epidemic yet thrives. They're sending her to a plague town? Surely even our spirited Princess Knight will learn her limits after toiling in such a star-crossed locale. Of course, if she herself were stricken with illness, I suppose she would have bigger things to worry about. <laughs> so then, Shepherd Saray, there's nothing to even think about, is there? I refuse. Darn. Guess they weren't the type you can sit down and talk with, after all. Probably better this way. Proud words from a false shepherd. You and Alicia will both learn the hard way what comes from crossing us. Hmm. Wait! What on earth is going on here? What are armed guards doing in the palace? These are Lord Bartlow's orders. Ugh. Lord Bartlow, what is the meaning of this? Stand down at once. Nice castle, but we're done here. Let's go, Alicia. I can fulfill my dreams without your help. And the same goes for Alicia. Indeed it does. Death to the knave, Shepard! 
who deceives the people! Bring it on, Stand suckers. Back, Alicia, or you'll get hurt. Heck yeah. Chancellor's pawn. Alright, so we got four of these guys. They put up less of a fight than I'd expect from soldiers, honestly. You don't think maybe the power of purification has also had an effect on my physical strength? Well, the Shepherd can wield the power of Seraphim. It makes sense that there'd be quantifiable differences between him and regular humans. Don't be too rough with them. Alright, so we got four of these guys. They're pretty strong attack-wise, but we can take them down. Alright, let's take them on. I, I, I couldn't get through. Okay, there's just two of them left, I think. Let's go after this guy right here. Don't you think you're overdoing it here, Saray? Saray has just gotten too powerful. Yeah, I'm pretty much whopping them. Oh, so more keep showing up. Okay. If y'all insist. Holy crap. A bunch of them now. Alright, let me... Saray, listen. You have to hold back a bit. I don't know that I can. We just can't go on like this. Sweet. Hmm, I mean, was I not supposed to kill them all? Whoops. This power... Could he truly... Yes, non-believer. We will forgive this transgression. In exchange, you will never threaten the shepherd again. Am I being clear? Impossible. He'll plunge the kingdom into upheaval. And if by any chance, he were to fall into Roland's hands. <laughs> what the... I'd be more worried about your own neck if I were you. The Who assassins. Are you? Scattered bones. Assassins! Yes. That man approached us and tried to hire our guild to murder your princess here. <gasps> are you saying Lord Bartlow was plotting to kill Alicia? D don't be ridiculous! He says we're liars. Should we kill him? <laughs> Enough! I beg of you, please stop. The Kingdom of Highland needs this man. <laughs> You're all you're made out to be. Listen and listen well, Bartlow. We do not kill against our own honor. Understood. Why? He's fine. They didn't kill him. <coughs> not your usual assassins, are you? I'm impressed they snuck into the palace. Apprehend them! They're the conspirators! Not good. Thanks to you, our work was quick and painless. Here's your reward. Follow us. Hmm. Alright. Let's talk to these jack wagons. Madness! Such power cannot be left unharnessed. For the sake of Highland. Oh, majestic seraphim, please keep your humble servants safe from those who work wickedness. Shepherd, scatter bones. All of you will pay for desecrating the palace and slighting the royal council. I think I need to lie down. Yeah, well, it serves you all right, jerks. All right, so we're gonna get through uh, this right here. You know what? Um. This will be kind of a short little one, but I guess I could probably call it an episode here. Let me look through what I just got, though. I just got... Uh, uh, let's see. The Pride of a Knight, alternate color. Different take on Alicia's Knight garb. Oh, that'll be cool. Proof that Lady Lake's blessing is restored thanks to the power of the Seraphim. Okay, cool. So I got some good stuff here. Hey, guys. Sorry about that. Um, I got a little bit into... I looked at some of the downloadable content because I pre-ordered this game and when you pre-order you get downloadable codes for various things like one of them was costumes for certain characters costumes based on characters from previous Tales games and I started looking at some of those and I was going to show a couple of them but going through the items in my inventory was kind of a little bit spoilerish because it showed some character names that 
you know, costumes for characters that we don't have yet, I guess. And I don't know. I kind of wish I hadn't seen that, but I, I didn't want you guys to see that. Um, I mean, it's only giving me names. It's not showing me like anything really of note. But I, I didn't, I didn't want to show any of that. I wanted to leave that out. So um, that's why I was kind of an abrupt cut right there. But anyway, I guess I'm just going to call an episode right here, and we'll see if we can get out here and see what's up with those assassins uh, next time. But for now. That'll do it, so thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it, and join me next time as we go with these assassins and see if we can figure out what's going on. This is a little crazy. So we're chasing the assassins and escaping uh, next time. So until then, you guys take care, and I'll see y'all later for more Let's Play Tales of Zisteria.